Hello loves, welcome back to Body Life YouTube channel. So as requested, I'm gonna be doing a pick a card love reading this afternoon, which I'm pretty excited for because Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So this reading, of course, will have to do predominantly um, with your love life or matters of the heart chakra or romance in general. So take it how it resonates, of course, per use. I'm gonna dive right in and just let you guys know that this is pile number one. We have the serpentine crystal. This is pile number two. We have the rose quartz crystal. And then we have pile number three, which is the carnelian. And the candles that I'm working with, well, I'm not doing the traditional love and romance candles. I'm actually gonna be working with the bird of paradise fixed candle because yes, even though this is a love and romance reading, I feel like the sacral chakra and the color orange and nurturing and nourishing energy is going to be the best thing for all of us at this point in time. So if you guys are asking about which candle I'm working with, again, it is the bird of paradise. And I also felt really called to this beautiful orange um, or crystal, which I got from a small business I wouldn't even call her a business, honestly. She was, it was like a pop-up shop and she had like a little tent and I saw this and I wanted to support her. So I picked it up. All right, you guys. So timestamps are down below and I will go ahead and dive right in. All right, fam. If you chose the Serpentine Crystal, this is your reading. I, um, I did break a nail last night on my thumb. So if you guys see that, just know that I would rather do tarot readings than, and hang out with you than go get my nails done. That can happen at any point. So if it's distracting, call on me. Okay, spirit, spirit, spirit. What does this group need to hear when it comes to their love life? What message are they coming through? Okay, wow, I just heard um, a walk in the park, taking a really long walk in the park. Um, it's interesting because I'm seeing someone doing it solo, but... If they're not walking in the park by themselves, it feels like um, the person that they're with is so similar to them or so close to them in energy that they're not really walking alone. So some of you guys, this might be a twin flame or a soulmate or someone in separation from someone that, that it is they love, or some of you guys are focusing on your spirituality. And as you're walking, you're having conversations with angels or God or the divine or whoever, or someone who has passed on. And I feel like, yeah, there's actually the spot here. There's a specific spot that it is that I'm seeing. There's a spot here in Florida where if you go out, it's this kind of isolated long path that's next to the beach, but it's like a woody area next to the beach. And I really love to take my dogs there. Okay, Spirit, what do we... If you guys hear any breathing or heavy sighs, it's Franklin. He's on my lap right now. And I always call him my little piggy because he makes little snorty noises all the time. It's the cutest thing. Okay, wow. At the base of your reading, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So again, yeah, this is energy revolving around being grounded, feeling stabilized, feeling secure. I do get a really strong sense of... Um, self-assurance spirit is really calling on you to feel good about yourself the decisions that you've made the the path that it is in your life something that i've never never really noticed this is a very earthy card but she's in the water i've never really noticed that before and i feel like you have protected or someone has been protecting well, let me start by saying this. You have protected something that you find really close to your heart. And you have protecting you have protected it at I won't say all costs, but you have decided I'm not going to let this drop. I'm not going to let this fail. And this has to do with the deep deep feelings and deep intuitive guidance that you've been led to at this point when it comes to your heart or when it comes to this relationship or when it comes to this love. There's something that you have been protecting and if i'm going to flip this this is someone else who is protecting or feels that way about you that they want to carry you 
like not on a pedestal, but in a very safe space. I do, this is a general reading, but I, I am getting a, um, a message about, you know, things from the past or memories from the past. So this may be someone that you still have on your heart, someone that you think about, or maybe someone who has passed on. And it's like, again, there's this mutual giving and receiving of you're valuable to me, I'm valuable to you, and I will hold you carefully, and I will protect you at all costs. But I don't feel like the world is like falling apart or crumbling around you. I just feel like it's something that is really valuable to you when it comes to love matters, when it comes to your heart chakra. And I also want to talk to you about your growth lately. With the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like you have made tremendous progress when it comes to stabilizing your feelings and your emotions or at least in this relationship or this point in your life you have made you have really stabilizing your feelings now do you guys you I'm sure you guys know what it's like when you have a crush or you fall in love or you get in a fight with your partner for the first time and your feelings are all over the place you might even be panicky there's a lot of things going on you don't you don't know what's going to happen so this is that point within your life and your journey where you're in a good place or at least spirit is leading you into that good place where you're not <clears throat> stuck in those immature budding feelings of, oh my God, like what's going to happen with us now? Or what what do we have here? Or what do I do? Or what are, they, what, are, what are they thinking? Or what do I want? These are things that have already been stabilized and are secure enough. So you can stand really firm and rooted in them. I also do get this strong sense of safety and stability where you might be, this coin above your head might actually be your peace of mind, um, things that make you feel good, a routine that works for you, friends around you, or a lifestyle that works for you so that you're not allowing yourself to get derailed by a partner's chaos or stress because when you share your life with someone, you're not only just sharing your life or when you share your heart or your love with someone, you're not just sharing those things you're also sharing the things that happen to them in the day because you kind of get sucked up into it as i'm saying this you guys we have the high priestess again we have the full card reversed loving this right now and we have the empress and we have the strength card and we have the ace of cups so again this is what it is that i'm saying there's this really strong message here especially with the full card reversed, that i feel like you've gotten to a point in your life where you're like this is good for me. This is really, really good for me. And if you're single and you haven't found and you're looking for love, it's this energy here that will actually help you to manifest and help you to attract exactly what it is that you want within your life. The fact that the five of pentacles is here at the root of this reading reversed, you have five of pentacles, you have six of swords upright, you have three of cups, and you also have page of pentacles. So I, I really do get a sense that at one point in your life, um, I just heard the word uh, demons, not to scare you or anything like that, but at one point in your life, you might have been fighting the demons in a relationship or fighting the de demons in your own life. And by demons, I mean the little trolls of your shadow self that kind of emerge and say, ha ha ha, remember me? Like, I'm your insecurity. <laughs> ha ha ha, remember me? I'm your self-worth or lack thereof. Or ha ha ha, remember, remember me? I'm your abandonment issues. Or, ha, 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 remember me, I'm your codependency, <laughs> like, or your addictions. <laughs> so it's like these little trolls that just keep popping up out of the woodwork. And you've done a, not, a, a lot of progress, whether you know it intentionally or not, where you've kind of come to peace and come to, term with, come to terms with it. And as I'm saying that you have the three of, three of swords here. So there are some things of your past that you have really moved moved on from. And you've laid it to rest, or maybe your partner has, or maybe if this is a twin flame separation type of situation, then you working on yourself or your partner's work that they've done has benefited you in some way, or it's benefiting each other. And you have mentally been able to move forward instead of what the word was, is being encapsulated, encapsulated, and fuck. Oh gosh, I can't. Sometimes when spirit says words, I say it so fast, and then it just like shoots in my ear and then falls right out. Um, incapitated, incapacitated, incapacitated. That's the word. In incapacit. Fuck. Now I lost it again. Thanks a lot. Spirit's like this. Is how you say it, and then it's like poop gone. What it is that I'm trying to say is, it's kept you bound up. It's kept you kept you bind. Like totally has a bind on you, and it's made it really hard for you to move forward. And a part of you that your shadow self or a part like. 
with you or another person or your love life, it's like there's a there was a curiosity there um, to try and fix it, to heal it, to make it right, to make it better. And you would just keep maybe going back to toxic things or keep having to deal with re repetitive patterns. And that was for, that definitely served a purpose. As I'm talking right now, you guys, I'm hearing a buzzing in my ear. Some of you guys have really been communicating with your spirit guides or um, praying over certain things or waiting to hear from someone and what they decide to do or, or the things that is that you're hearing has really changed your life um, in some way. Maybe you were believing, I just heard the word divine counterpart. Maybe you were believing that there would be some level of progress with your divine counterpart and it would just feel like you would get, you would slip back in um, to this old repeating pa past, like um, repeating cycle. Um, you just, I feel like you would find yourself in square one. And I just feel like you guys are out of that now. You're out of that. I just got a, um, a vision of termites. So it's like the relationship or your heart or your love life or your heart chakra or whatever. is like this big, healthy chunk of wood. And you're so proud of it. And it's so beautiful and it has so much history to it. And it serves in life and it serves in death. You know, like just it just what I'm saying is that it's just constantly giving in all the different ways that a tree does. And, um, and maybe that's another thing too. Maybe you need to look into that is the story of the giving tree. I've heard of it. I've read it. I don't remember it, but Google it if you can, or if you're interested, or maybe it means something significant to you. I know that some people get tattoos of it. And as I'm looking at this five of pentacles, I'm seeing the giving tree here. So I feel like you're this, you, whatever it was, the heart, the heart chakra, your relationship or whatever it is that you're focusing on right now, whatever it is that you've walked out of, it was healthy, but it's like, there was like, sometimes good things um not not that they attract but people find good things or termites find bark they find wood and i feel like it's not that you did anything but you got you got chewed up <laughs> or started getting chewed up and then you had to get treated and i feel like you're at that stage in your life where this is a metaphor where something was really chewing and gnawing at you or gnawing at your relationship or gnawing at your growth or gnawing at your heart. And not only was it treated, not only was it taken care of or, you know, handled in some way, very delicately, maybe you did that. You took care of it though. Or maybe you asked for help and someone else helped you to take care of it or someone else helped you to resolve it. Resolve it. This could be a therapist. This could be you talking with your friends. This could be a summer off or a winter off of just not doing anything or just allowing people to deal with their own shit. But either way, it was taken care of. And now you're in this stage where the wood has been repolished, resanded, and now it's being glossed over and used in some other way that now you're very proud of it because it even it has more of a history to it, it has more of a story. And somehow it was salvaged and it can be passed on. So that's what it is I'm seeing for you. The moral of the story is I feel like you've taken something that could have really beat you up or hurt you or it could have been abandoned, discarded, and you have become new from it. You have, like, you rise up from the ashes. You rise up and you're ready for a new beginning. You're rising up and you're honestly, back to what I was saying, you've actually have been celebrating with others and in a good place where, again, those old things that were bothering you no longer plague you. And now you're in this really awesome position where you are stabilized and you are ready to the fact to the point where you're like I don't have anywhere else to go right now and that's that's not a bad thing I feel like you're actually happy being where you're at that you don't actually have to start over where you don't actually have to go seeking anything at this point it's coming to you you're manifesting it you're attracting it you're enjoying it you're in this really nice period in your life or your heart chakra is or whatever it is that you're focusing on is really entering in this nice period of your life where you're manifesting or you have manifested, you know, great, great love, great kindness, great softness, great compassion, um, joy, blessings, abundance, the next stage, the next cycle within your life to the point where, again, I, I just feel some of you guys sometimes feel like you have to start over or you have to break free or there's more work to be done. And the reality is, it's like, I just feel like you're in a good spot right now where that doesn't need to happen you've actually secured the bag. <laughs> if that makes any sense. So I love that for you. Let's look at your Oracle cards. It's a very easy reading. Oh, wow. Romantic feelings. Oh my gosh, you guys look, let your friends help you. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Healing family issues. So 
this is what exactly it's i'm not i i've never seen these oracle cards so i'm not even i'm shocked but i'm not shocked so again this healing family issues it goes back to the stuff that you were protecting the stuff that you were guarding the stuff that you were working on it you might have broken free from a generational curse maybe you have a family history of people who stay married but they do it out of survival mode and they low-key kind of resent their partner and hate their life <laughs> it's not funny um hate their lives together or you know they just stay together because divorce is taboo um and you actually separated from a partner because you're like i refuse to be in a loveless marriage or a disrespectful marriage, or I refuse to be a victim of domestic violence again, you know, whatever it is, I refuse to stay in a toxic situation. And you then maybe either went to therapy, whatever it is that this coin is on top of your head, you, that's what you held on to. That is what has been sweet to you. That is the ultimate goal. That is the priority for you. And you are taking it from one point to the next point where you're like, I will do whatever it takes to make sure that that coin is protected and I will like fix the issue or I'll fix the problem or I'll plug up this leak in my life or I will repair the damage that was that happened so that I can have what it is that I deserve. And clearly there is a level of maturity whether you're 16 years old or you're 69 or 84. There's some level of really deep maturity from a cycle that you've closed already out in the past. And you were able to manifest or materialize the help, the resources, the friends, the, the, the group or the journals or the tools to help you to heal past issues that go way beyond, you know, just your experience, just your life. And now you're in this beautiful stage within your life where you can actually genuinely enjoy how far you've come without thinking about how further you have left to go. That's a very beautiful, let's see what else we have here. Time for a love fest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are destined for greatness on the wings of love. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, you know, it's time is right now. Like, you just know. And I feel like this coin on top of your head or this coin on top of the Queen of Pentacles head is this. I know what I'm destined for. I know what I was called here to do. I know what can happen. I've seen it before happening for other people's, maybe not in my friend circle, maybe not in my community, maybe not in my family. But if if it has happened before in, in history, then it can happen for me. And that's what it is that I want. And the next card, you'll find what you seek. But also it's funny because when I'm reading this, it says you'll find what you seek. But I'm also hearing what you seek is looking for you. Or you have found what you are what you were seeking. Or if it's not, you haven't come together, let's say it's this, you know, cycle that you're closing out. And right now you're just kind of giving yourself this love fest right now. It's literally, if you are looking for love, if you are attracting a higher vibration love, if you're attracting a healthy marriage or a more pleasant cycle in your marriage or your relationship or better luck with your dating, I mean, you're in it. Look at this. We have peace. That's exactly what it is I'm talking about, you guys. I'm so happy that these cards are really resonating right now because it, this is literally what I'm saying. I feel like there's this level of surrender and this had to have come from massive, crazy, erratic change that you have broken free from in your life. And really, and really peace comes after tumultuous ass energy. This almost feels like the dawning of a new day, but you've already you know, experience the sunrise and now you're in the midday where you're like, okay, I'm just gonna, what's my plan for today? I'm gonna go for a walk and get a cup of coffee and just enjoy my day. Like you have no obligation and no expectations. And somehow spirit says, that's exactly the place that we wanted you in. This is exactly the place in your life where you are meant to be. You are right on time. You're right on target. Everything is as it should be. There is no mistakes here. It's perfect. And you you're not even, I don't even think that you're like, okay, well, when's the next thing that's going to manifest? It's just like, you know what? I'm okay. I'm okay. And it's funny because I see this as the number five, two plus three, but I'm also seeing the breakdown of that. Like I'm seeing how that through change, something broke down. It's like you took a step back and you doing that helped you 
to set yourself up for an even more stable foundation, for an even more rooted and grounded human being, for even more peace and blessing and abundance within your love relationships instead of it being tumultuous. And oh my God, you guys. And then the number five. So it's five oh, but it breaks down to five. No place like home, exactly. This is your space. This is your sanctuary. This is your, your spot where you can just be. And I feel like there's this really strong level of contentment. If it's not there yet, then it will be. So this is what spirit wants you to focus on right now. Wizard, Wizard of the Woods. Oh my God, you guys, five zero again. I'm not even making this up. Wizard of the Woods, it's what you're focusing on. Yep, rainbows, rainbow waterfalls, miracles. This kind of is giving me, I don't know if you guys are hearing it too. Um, TLC, don't go chasing waterfalls. Um, please stay, stay with the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. That's what exactly what I'm saying. You've stopped chasing things. You've totally stopped chasing things. You just allow things to just be, and that ushers in great miracles. Then we had the, the wood nymph. I just feel like you're just really, oh my God, and the storm spirit. I cannot make this up. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Chaos and beauty. I feel like you've come out of some chaotic times, or even if you're in it, you're just like, no, I'm cool with it. I'm just totally cool. I'm totally at peace. This has nothing to do with me. I've come a long way. I've actually accepted this. I've surrendered it. And I'm actually happy. I don't need to go anywhere. I don't need to be. I don't need to do anything. I don't need to be anywhere. I could just be. And that is a beautiful place to be in. And that's what it is that you're focusing on right now. And that attracts everything. Last card you have is patience here. It says, your prayers have been heard and they are being answered. Sometimes I feel like social media kind of promises things and says, yeah, see, your prayers have been answered and they and have been heard and they're answered. So the answers are resounding yes. And people are like, yay, like this is exactly what I wanted. My ex to come back or the marriage to work out or to date or whatever the case is. And it's like, what if your prayers being answered is a resounding no? And not every answer that you hear is going to be a definitive yes. And sometimes that's the biggest blessing. I feel like the worst is truly, you guys, believe me, it is really beyond, like past you. It's beyond you. It's back in the, back in the day. <laughs> back in the day, we used to have bad times. Back in the day, we used to suffer. Back in the day, we used to choose toxic relationships or say dumb things when our partners would drag their feet or ignore the sock on the, on the ground by the hamper. And I'd just be like, are you fucking kidding me? And then there's a part of you that's just like, you know what? I just love them and I'm just going to accept it and I'm allowed to be And that from there, this area just blossoms and blooms. It's funny too, that the bird of paradise candle is what I chose to work with because that's literally about effortless nourishment, support, beauty, you know, self-control, <laughs> peace of mind, like who you are and what you're doing is enough. And that's just beautiful to you. And again, there's a strong sense of the worst is behind me. And I've learned a lot about how I contribute to my own problems and how I block my own blessings. And I've really evolved from it. Don't get me wrong. Like, I have my moments. Like, I can hear you saying this. Like, I have my moments because I'm human. But for the most part, I'm past it. So, my loves, that is your reading. And I, I just bang with that really hard. I really love this. For you guys, please let me know if it resonates down below. I do want to invite you to whoops, follow me on Instagram or TikTok. My Instagram is at Bahati Life. There's only one. Anything else outside of my personal Instagram, which is Jessica X Alexandria, is a scam. I promise you. I promise you. I'm not reaching out to anybody via WhatsApp or whatever, trying to offer readings. That's not something that I do, especially not right now. Um, that is also a scam. And if you need me or if you want to work this candle's magic, ASMR, 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 <laughs> in your life, you can find me at bahadilife.com. I love you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye. Okay, friends, if you chose the Rose Quartz Crystal, this is your reading. Honestly, call number one's reading was so, so lovely. Okay, boo. <laughs> we are starting with a bang. Spirit, speak to us. What is, what's going on in Rose Quartz, aka your love life? Oh, wow. Huh. I'm going to sit with this for a minute and just see if spirit's going to tell me anything or speak to me about anything. If you guys hear any crunching in the background, it's Nova having a few more kibbles. She's so cute. And if you hear any snoring, 
or heavy breathing, it's Franklin. I was telling pal number one that I call him my little piggy or my little piglet because he's always uh, grunting or snoring and he's on my lap right now. Spirit, clarify the Knight of, Pen Knight of Wands. We have two of Pentacles. Interesting, Six of Wands. Some of you guys, um, some of you guys have shuffled and pulled on a situation yourself, either your tarot readers. Um, I, I do feel like something's giving you anxiety. Something's really, really bothering you. And I, th I think the reason why it's stumping me is because this is not having to do with your love life. Um, and if you think that it is, it has more to do with, like, let's say you're like bu bugging out about someone. It has not to do with the, the relationship itself, um, but like s not self-worth, but like abandonment or it's like triggering something within you. Um, so it, you're, you might be anxiously shuffling and pulling on it. Um, give me a second here. Let me just sit with this and see if there's anything that's coming through. Okay, wow. I got the vision of a skunk, um, which is interesting because it's one of my power animals, um, animal totems since day one. And the other thing that I'm hearing is your focus. Your focus has been a little off. Um, spirit is not, spirit is kind of shaking you a little, not shaking you a little bit, but they want to have a stern conversation with you. They want you to sit down and they want you to pri reprioritize what is important. I don't know if this has to do with your love life. I'm, I was asking about your love life, but spirit really wants you, wants to talk about something else. Um, that's the message that they're saying. They say they want you to focus. They want you to prioritize. You're get, you're getting distracted. As I'm saying it, I'm actually getting some level of irritation. I'm, I'm hearing them say, like, we told you this before, 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 like time and time and time again. Um, and you may shuffle on it or you may ignore it or go back to be like, yeah, but, and spirit's like, that's fine, but we need you to focus. There's something here that they want you to focus on and they feel like you're not, um, you're not focusing on it. Um, so why, why the skunk, why the skunk is coming through? So for me, one of the reasons why the skunk is so symbolic in my life is because it represents total, um, total balance of the black and the white, the, the darker sides of the self and the lighter sides of the self. If you guys hear any barking, um, Nova's in her crate right now, speaking of not being able to focus and Amazon just pulled up. So her dog food is being delivered, so she's probably going to sense it. Um, Franklin gets his meals made for him, for those of you guys that are wondering. Anyways. So yeah, there's something that you are are resistant resistant to, that you're not allowing yourself to, you're allowing yourself to be distracted by. And it could be love, or it could be like a relationship, or it could be you're supposed to be working, focusing on, <coughs> ugh, we knew it. Good girl. Speaking of not being able to focus, sorry guys. All right, let's see if she relaxes. Yeah, she's good. All right, so, um, all right, six of, knight of wands, six of wands reversed, 10 of wands. I heard the word fear of failure. So this is, um, you might be distracting yourself and thinking about allowing yourself to be, um, pulled in different directions because there's a part of you that feels like something can't materialize or something can't happen. It's funny because pile number one got the full card reversed and I saw it as them being like, yo, I don't have anywhere to go. Um, and that meaning in a good, in a good way, like they don't, their spirit isn't leading them anywhere. And in your case, you have the full card reversed and it feels like we told you to leave for a minute and you're not going and wherever it is that you're staying right now is burdening you or weighing you down or you're not, you're like finding different things to distract you that's pulling you away from what you should be focusing on. Um, when it comes to the love life, I want to make sure that your relationships are balanced. They're feel, they're feel, it really does feel like someone or something is operating from a wackadoodle ego um, where someone is taking and taking and draining and draining and draining and then someone is stable and providing and making sure that they're good. And, and I really do want to say that some of you guys are going to have to let that go. 
Actually, now that I'm saying that, because I was looking at these cards, I'm really starting to see it when I'm looking down here. We have Six of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. This is about giving and receiving, like mutual giving and receiving, and Three of Pentacles is about collaboration, and then Two of Pentacles is, I can't keep doing everything by myself. It's literally not fair. And what Spirit is saying is that some of you guys keep showing up in this way because there is something that you are neglecting working on that is actually pretty major in your life. And Spirit is like, stop, don't show up for this person in this way anymore. Um, it is not it is not good for you or don't expect this other person to show up for you in this way anymore because it's not good for them. Now, randomly, this is a very small per percentage, I think 22% or maybe 23%, I'm not sure. But it feels like these are people who are so can are so stuck on actually now that i'm saying this might be a higher percentage for some of you guys in your love life this has a lot to do with you refusing to be vulnerable you refusing to ask for help you saying that you might be ready or saying that you want certain things or saying that you're here for this but then at the same time it's like there's a part of you that's very guarded and you are convinced that you're going to be able to do it yourself and you won't allow someone else in you won't allow someone to see you vulnerable you won't allow them to help you you won't allow them to take you out on dates you won't allow you won't put yourself out there and spirits like we're trying you just keep finding work or all these excuses and reasons why you want to put it off put it off put it off put it off and spirits like you, 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 you talk to us about, or we see you suffering, like, or we see you wanting a relationship, or we see you wanting something to happen within your love life or happen during your heart chakra, but you're not allowing, oh my gosh, and now I think about it, the skunk with the scales, this, uh, this is literally like learning how to work with the good and the bad, quote unquote, the black and the white, and also the head and the heart, so I don't even know why I didn't see that before until just now, it doesn't matter, but yeah, Spirit's like, all right, come on, come on, come on, let's go. I'm going to put these cards away and shuffle some more because some of you guys are also very defensive. And Spirit's like, the time is now for you to, you're, and there, the Spirit is saying, this is giving me seven of, seven of wands and nine of wands type, type of energy. Nine of wands, not knight of wands. Yeah, queen of cups. Literally, I was just about to say this. What I love about the skunk animal totem is just one of my many totems. It's the first one that actually came to me. Um, but it's it has to be defensive because it is so soft. It's very gentle. It's very vulnerable. And when it came to me, this was years ago when I actually started my spiritual journey. Long time, long time, long time, long time ago. Like I must have been my teens. And I was very, very spiritually sensitive. I was very emotional and I was very vulnerable. I had no idea what the rest of my life up until this point was going to look like as far as the good and the bad and the, the, the story in my life. And if I told you guys some of the things that have happened in my life, you'd be like, what? And I, even when I say it, it almost feels like I'm lying because I'm like, I can't believe I lived all of that in one life. But anyways, um, the Queen of Cups is someone who's very, 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 very emotionally sensitive and very, very emotionally vulnerable. And sometimes when the Queen of Cups shows up, it can show that this person is manipulative or controlling and all these negative things or clingy or whatever. And the fact is, I don't actually see you as that. I see you as someone who is just very sensitive and very, when you love, you love hard. When you love, you love big. When you're committed, you're very committed. When you're in, when you're in a relationship, you give your all. And it really scares you or makes you feel very, very vulnerable how much you fall for a person or fall in love. And you want to make sure that you're falling for the right person and in the right hands. And this may be the biggest heart, the most compassionate person, but also someone who's experienced really big disappointment and really big failure. And you just don't want to feel that again. You don't want to experience that again. You don't want to live through that again because it really hurts you. And it really derails you. It really disrupts you. Some of you guys may not even want to accept that or see that within yourself. Some of you guys are saying, like, again, seven of wands, nine of wands. I I don't need anybody. I don't need anything. Or I don't need love or whatever. Or I'm working on this. And the truth is, is 
you know, there's a part of you and maybe let's say I wouldn't even be surprised if this is a, a pile that hasn't been in a relationship before um, be or a real intimate relationship. I wouldn't be surprised if you guys are chose this pile because this is like someone who would be an amazing partner and give a lot, but you might have protected yourself for a long time or shut people down, whether you want to accept it or not, and block certain things out and be guarded because you're just like, you know, you make like an excuse and you say, I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't want that or I don't need that or I'm not ready for it or, oh, it didn't work out. But there's a part of you that blocked it off. There's a part of you that was scared. There's a part of you that wasn't ready. And spirit is saying, and let's say you're, you are in a relationship or you are in a, a partnership or a union or you're prepping for it. Spirit is saying, literally, honey, at some point, you're going to have to be 1000% vulnerable. And I just feel like at this point in this time, the time is now. Some of you guys are looking like, uh-uh, Jess, talk to me about the three of swords. <laughs> I get it. Um, again, this is the pile that I feel like you guys have shuffled on or your your tarot readers or you, you have a tarot deck or or maybe you've had a question and you've been had other people shuffle for it for you. But this is literally, this is not saying that this is what's to come. This is to say, this is what you've been holding on to. And this has been, even though 10 of cups is definitely the card of happily ever after and family and the family dynamics for good or for bad, because 10 of cups doesn't always promise happiness and joy. It's just a whole lot of feelings, like a whole lot of feelings, right? And that could be a family dynamic that's been through a lot together and has each other, but you might've experienced a lot of trauma, a lot of loss, and all you guys is you have each other. And it can be, if that's what you know is sticking with each other, it can be really hard to allow some new energy in because you're very protective of your family or you're very protective of yourself and you just don't want to be infiltrated. You don't want to be, you know, caught off guard and, and add more ache and suffering to your existence or the existence of the family. There's this level of responsibility that I'm picking up on here. So let me know down in the comments if that resonates. With Four of Pentacles and Three of Swords, I am hearing this Bob Marley quote, I think. I'm pretty sure it's Bob Marley who said this. And he said, like, pretty much in a nutshell, if you're in love or if you love, you're going to get hurt, you know? And what does that mean? This means that when you love, you will put yourself out there. Um, I actually got a clay pot. It's like, I don't know why a clay pot. Um, it's, I was wondering if it was fractured or something like that, but it's not, it's, it's totally full, but it's like, I just see you planting into that clay pot and that clay pot represents you actually, or your life. And it's earthy, it's grounded, it's centered, it's, it's, it's there for a reason. I feel like spirit is showing me this clay pot because it's saying like, you, you're going to want to put this to use, AKA you're going to want to put your heart to use. We didn't give you this heart and give you feelings or this level of compassion in order for you to just hold it away and just, oh yeah, no, that's just, that's just my clay pot. It's like, why does she keep this clay pot like in the garden? Like, you're not going to put a plant in that? Oh no, it's just, you know, it just, you know, the plant could die. <laughs> the plant could get sick. <laughs> the, the, you know, I, I've killed a few plants before in the past. So I just, I'm just going to just, you know, I'm going to just let that clay pot sit there. And spirit's like, you know what, girl, like, you're distracting yourself with all these other things. It's time for you to quickly put something in the clay pot so that it can grow. Life is not meant to be easy all the time. There are some lessons and some twists and some turns. And just like me and my orchids, <laughs> just like me and my orchids, you know, I have to learn the humidity. I have to learn the watering schedule. I have to learn when where to snip them so that they grow. And it, I learn by they just don't grow. Or they die. <laughs> you know what I mean? And some of you guys are like, well, Jess, I don't want to go through that again. And it's just like, you know what? It's time for you to stop overanalyzing the situation. Mentally choose to move forward. Once you let that go, your divine counterpart or the aspect within yourself, your, your polar opposite, queen of cups, king of cups, shows up and completes the picture. And some of you guys are like, I'm whole. I get it. I get it. Have that conversation with your therapist or your journal. No, <laughs> no hard feelings. I love you. I'm just here to deliver the message right now. So we don't need to be defensive or anything like that. Seven of wands, nine of wands. I'm surprised it's not here, but it's going to turn you upside down, right side up. And that's not a bad thing. 
Again, if you're saying, you know, I don't need anybody, fine, take take that. Some of you guys are really defensive. I can feel it. I can sense it. And it, well, high key is driving me crazy. Just, I say this with love, but it's just like, let it go. Like, let that mentality go. Sharing your heart and your love with someone is not, should not take away from you. And it won't. The fact that it is that you believe that having a partnership would somehow in some way take from you is something that you need to explore on your own. So are you going to hold on? Actually, now I'm thinking about it. We have this Queen of Cups here and she's holding this glass here. But to me, I, I see a clay pot in my third eye. But are you going to hold on to this clay pot and just not put any dirt in it and not put in a plant of your hopes and your wishes and just not water it because you don't want to kill it? Or are you going to put it to good use? And spirit says, the time is now. Come on, girl <laughs> or boy. <laughs> it's the feminine aspect of yourself that gets a little spooked when it's overly vulnerable. But again, look at the Bob Marley quote. It's not a threat to, to have your feelings hurt or love lost. Yep, let go of anxiety. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh my gosh, emotional healing. <laughs> look, it's safe for you to let go of old, 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 old emotional pain by doing so you allow your heart to mend yes calm your nerves and you'll be able to hear the voice of your angels and your angels are like try again put yourself out there don't expect the same outcome every single time hey girl it's safe for you to love like that's your angels right now yeah so this word refuge number one this is a space that's safe but sometimes if you stay in a place too long that safe space becomes a prison. I'll let that sit in. Yes, man. Wow, I couldn't make this up. See, orphaned. You've experienced some level of loss before and you're just really trying. Once you open up, guys, something's just going to pop right in. Bing. Why is he texting me? <laughs> right. Bing. Oh, my gosh. I was just talking about this girl and here she is. I bumped into her at the bar. Bing. Hey, how you been? Oh, God. You know what I mean? All right. Bing, hey babe, I'm sorry. Or ding, can we try again? Oh wow, karma is on your side. This means, honestly, the, the big message that I get from this is don't expect the bad all the time. Oh my God, you are so loved. You are so adored. Yep, time to make a demonstration. That's exactly what I'm saying. You had message in a bottle and you also have eight of wands. Something is coming in. And I just feel like it's very loving. It's very supportive. And I just don't want you to be the one to block it because you're afraid of getting hurt. Oh my gosh. Past life relationship and calling in your soulmate. Say less, fam. So this could be someone from the past. Especially with karma here. You might have lived, loved, and lost. Or it might be some things from your past, you know, as a ch your childhood that still kind of resonate with you. And kind of you operate from them now it's old but it still isn't you are still saying like this is the way that it is this is what I'm used to this is what I can expect so this is what you know and it's just like talk to your angels about this and call on your soulmate because clearly your divine counterpart and you are meant to come together or something is meant to happen within your relationship to lighten the load a bit so that you guys can flow together easy and effortlessly and this is more than just your relationship your love life it's your relationship with yourself all right, you guys, I legit love you. I hope this message makes sense. I hope it resonates. I hope I didn't offend anybody with my sense of humor. If you need me, you can look for me in Bahati Life Apothecary. There, I'm always working my magic. You can find me on Instagram at Bahati Life. There's only one. If you see any other ones outside of my personal account, which is Jessica X Alexandria, it's definitely a scam. The candle that it was that I was working with was is the Bird of Paradise candle, which has a lot to do with self-worth, self-value, and also living a life that is joyous, par it feels like paradise, fun, expressive, juicy. So if you want some of that energy in your life, honey, I would be more than happy to fix a candle for you and ship it yes internationally or any other things that you might be working on i have candles for all types of situations and circumstances um happy new moon and i will see you soon love ya bye hey fam oh my goodness the lovers and the king of pentacles do you know what i just heard it's over and done but the heartache lives on inside yep Things are put on ice. Side. 
And who is the one that you clinging to instead of me? Tonight. And where are you now? Now that I need you. Tears on my pillow, wherever you are. A climbing of river that leads to your ocean. King of Wands reversed and the full card reversed. You'll never see me fall apart. In the words of a broken heart, it's just emotions. <laughs> Yo, honestly, I will, I will literally link that, that, uh, song down below. I'm pretty sure it, Beyonce, well, <laughs> Destiny's Child, or Beyonce and Gang, just kidding. Um, they did a rendition of that song. Oh my God, I'm hearing it really, really loud in my head. I'm there at your side, a part of all the things that you are, whoa, whoa, whoa. But you had a turn. You guys have to listen to that song. It's literally, it will speak to you. I'm actually feeling that in my gut. You guys have a song on your heart. And if there is a, a song that can put it into words, <clears throat> excuse me, it's probably that. It's funny, too, that you got the carnelian. Um, this is very... And where are you now? I can't even, like, concentrate. Now that I need you, you... I'm not trying to sing my best right now because I'm not trying to have... I'm not trying to blow your minds. I'm just kidding. Okay. Okay, wow. Spirit says, <laughs> breathe. There is a, a quiet that someone somewhere needs to sit with. As my dog, um, she's in her crate right now, so she's making some noise. Yeah, there's a silence that someone somewhere needs to sit with, or maybe you need to sit with it. Some of you guys might have been having a lot of anxiety or tension or tumultuous or um, fighting or loss. I just saw an image of a cactus, like someone very defensive and guarded. I'm also getting dry, 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 dry energy. It's like something that should have grown just, or something that should have been hopeful. It's like hope is lost or it's like, damn. Like I get that energy of just like, damn. How did that happen? How did we get here? How did that, what's gonna happen? Like, or not even like what's gonna happen, but it's just like, it's the end. Like where, yep, there it is, tower card. This is something that, oh man, this is something that you really was hoping for, wanting, working towards, and now it just feels like it's dashed. But is it though? Like, but is it though? Spirit, speak to us. Please, 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 please. Spirit says, incoming! Someone's, someone owes you something. Yep. Seven of Swords reversed and Six of Pentacles. They're both reversed, but I felt like they're turning upright because literally it's actively turning upright right now. Someone owes you an apology. Someone needs to give you something. Someone needs to say something. Something has happened. You've been sensing this for a minute. You've been asking for something that you deserve. They have not been giving it to you. It has a lot to do with clarity, confirmation, things that you've been knowing, saying, asking for. And they're just like, yeah, yeah, later date, later date. I'm gonna come through. And then they never do. And how is that fair? And now it's like you put them in time out. And now you're prioritizing your peace. And now you're sitting in your sanctuary. And now, Spirit, am I wrong? I have the shakies. Spirit speaks to me here. What is your what are you what are you telling us? What are you telling them? Um, I can find my way. I can go the distance. Yeah, this has a lot to do with finding they have to find their way, or you have to find your way what does that mean yep ace of wands they have to find the light they have to find the spark something has to three of wands you're looking are you looking looking are you looking are you looking for me am i looking for you are we looking for each other am i the only one looking are you looking for me and i'm turning my head in a different direction what are we doing 
this has a lot of anxiety to it or someone has a lot of anxiety, a lot of angst. And it's turned into something that it's like, you, you, we've prolonged this for so long. I'm also seeing someone, yeah, it's like death card reverse. It's like, you know what? I'm done. It's someone or something that has been bound up and you are really wanting to just untie. I'm, for some reason, I'm looking at her hair right now. And that really speaks to me, like how her hair is bound up and, and kind of put in certain spots. And it's just like, I just see you freeing yourself. I see you freeing yourself. It's something that you chose to do. Sometimes with the temperance card, it can be about reconciliation. It can be about making things work. But honestly, sometimes it's about acceptance. And you doing what's best for you and starting over somewhere else. I'm going to put these cards away. It just feels like a loss. Six of Wands reverse is like it should have been something else other than what it was. And it's not. And I... I, I I wasn't expecting that, but if that, if that is what it is, so with the Ace of Pentacles, it's, yes, okay, so with the Ace of Pentacles, it could be a fresh seed, a fresh start, a new beginning, but it's, I, this, in this case, this is a chest. Um, also, this is a brain anemone, or brain coral. Someone is really thinking, thinking way too much with their head and not with their heart, and they've kept everything locked up. They may give a little, 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 but when it comes to what is needing to be given, there's more, there's more, there's a lot, there's a lot left to be desired. Meaning like you, either they are feeling a lot of things, saying a lot of, like have need to say a lot of things, but they're, they're choosing not to, they're locked up. And no matter how far you dive down to the depth of that person or no matter how deep this love goes, for some reason they still choose to stay locked up or you choose to stay locked up. And it's almost dangerous for you to continue to hold your breath to get to that ch that, ch that chest. Or it's dangerous for them to keep diving down to try and figure you out or hear what you have to say. Literally, if you dive down to the bottom of the ocean, you can get like bubbles in your in your blood. So it's like you're risking yourself or they're risking themselves in order to unlock this chest. And it's not that it's not worth it, but it's like, do I need to continue to risk this right now? Do I need to continue to put myself out there? And it's like, honestly, these fish are all watching and they're just like, wow. Like, I don't know why, but I, I feel like the fish are watching this. It's like a same old tale, same old tale. It's like the story of Icarus <laughs> or it's something that's been said or something that you've lived for, lived through time and time again. And it's just, you start to snap out of it. You're starting, you started to get delirious actually. Seven of cups is for some of you guys, you started to feel delirious. You're just like, or overwhelmed by it, or just like, what do I do? And that's the thing, like, should you be doing anything? And I feel like there's this level of clarity. Some of you guys are like, honestly, there is a chest, this treasure chest in the bottom of the ocean, but <laughs> I've heard and I've seen my friends dig up treasure chests on the earth. <laughs> so instead of me risking a blood clot <laughs> or asphyxiation, I'm just going to, I'm just probably going to resurface and look for treasure elsewhere. Yeah, goodbye. It's them there at your side. A part of all the things that you love. Okay, I can't hit those notes. Beyonce can though. Um, so listen, <laughs> listen to that song. I don't mean to laugh because it's making me really sad. But you, you have been there. You have helped. You have loved, and you have lost. And I feel like someone is saying goodbye. And it's not a lack of love. It's just, it's not good for me to continue to try and meet you where you're at because it's making me delirious. It's making me strange. <laughs> and you just keep withholding. You keep withholding. And I keep diving and I keep diving and I keep, and you just keep withholding. And spirit has been calling me 
or leading me to different places, to different waters, to different lands. And my heart, I keep hearing your song and I keep going down to the, to, to the depth of you. And every time I meet you there, you're locked up. You're still locked. And for what reason? Yep. Ace of Swords. So this time you dive down and maybe you didn't go down in the right spot or the same spot that you always did. Or maybe you're trying a different way to reach this person or this person is trying a, a different way to reach you. And you found something else. You found the truth. And the truth says, you know what? I'm, I don't deserve, I don't even, this is not even natural for me. It's not even like I don't deserve. It's not natural for me and not good for me and not where I need to be in order to be in the same space in the same way at the same time. I'm also hearing organs. You know, stress is the biggest killer, you know, um, not to make this serious, but it really, it's like, it's not good for the heart to feel so low. Like, it's not good for you to keep putting in and like not having the tools or the, the help and the support in order to get you to where it is that you need to be. So you, when you dove this time, you saw the truth and the truth will set you free. It does hurt. Don't get me wrong. But a part of you, some of you guys are really saying goodbye to something. And in that spirit says, we are now, we are guiding you with light and love. We are guiding you to new territories. You have, in this has not totally been in loss or in vain because you have strengthened your lungs, honey, or you have strengthened your heart, or you actually have to see and acknowledge the strength of your heart and what it can do. But the thing is, is that, yeah, in all of this, it has become stronger, but we don't want to keep I mean, I don't know, to each their own. You you decide what you're going to do, but um, we'll see. We'll ask the spirit. Love hurts. Some of you guys are really scared. Yep. Scared to let it go. Scared to start fresh because this is someone or something that you really saw a future with. Sometimes, yeah, but it's like, do you see how she's like swimming up to this man and he's just like drunk on the on the shore and just completely oblivious? And it's just like, I just want to help him so much and I just want things to be so different. And he's like completely oblivious and he's completely consumed in his own dysfunction that it's actually making, or disorder is the word, and it's actually making you delirious. And maybe you're dealing with someone who's delirious or has addiction problems or it's like, but you can see the good in him. Or you can see the good in her. You can see the good in whatever. And, and you, I don't know. But it's like, is it enough? And you just feel like if I walk away, am I going to lose them forever? And Spirit's like, leave that with me. Leave that with us. Who is this? Yeah, Five of Pentacles and King of Pentacles. It's someone that is really dealing with their own lack of self-worth, self-value, and again, this is another person who's showing up and offering and they're just completely oblivious and stuck in their own addiction, stuck in their own mind and stuck in their own. And they're just so locked up. And some of you guys are like, I just don't have an enemy to abandon them right now. And that's fine. If you are their saving grace or their lifeline or the love between you guys, you have to, then this is confirmation that you are showing up for some of you guys. You know, you're just like, I need to move on or remove myself. And if, if that is the case, let's say you are someone who's like, I got to stay by their side or I got to keep trying or I got to keep diving down. Then that's where your reading pretty much ends here. And then just block out what is it I'm going to say and then we'll move on to the Oracle. But for those of you guys that decided that you're like, I don't want to do this anymore. that That's something about a truth. Something came to you or you saw the light of day within your own intuition where you're like yeah and I'm and now I'm done like and now I'm cutting myself free it's like you dove down to try again and while you were down there you found a sword and you were like holy goodness I'm using this to cut me free from the situation and when you come up for fresh air you're like I'm I, I'm going to explore different things 
a part of you may feel a bit defensive, exhausted, tired, worn out, drained, anxious. But again, she's holding that, that sword in her mouth. And she says, you know what? I may not know what the future is going to look like, but I'm in the midst of real, serious, amazing, emotional, mental, spiritual clarity. And you're literally about to wake up. Yep. The truth will set you free, my love. Or it awakens someone else up to be like, all of a sudden, it's like, bop, 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 bop. He sobers up or she sobers up and it's like, where are you? I'm coming. And sometimes some people need the slap of faith, like slap in the face. Sometimes they need to lose it all in order to gain everything or to gain some insight or perspective here. Even as I'm saying this, this is like, this was a, this is a turtle, uh, not a turtle, a frog fairy, which is so like, could you imagine, this is a random thought, but can you imagine bumping into this in the woods? You know how long of a conversation I would sit and talk with this frog for? Now that I'm saying that, they're pulling up lotuses. Do you see what it is that I'm saying? Like something is coming up from the depth, from the muck, from the earth. And here you are being like, finally, like, or maybe your spirit guides are like, finally, she's free. Or finally, she's pure and starting over fresh. Or maybe they come through. Maybe there is some type of level of reconciliation. One last... You know what, guys? I'm actually feeling called to shuffle from another deck from you. Yeah, you guys are regaining control and mastery here of your own. This is where I'm going. This is what I'm doing. Some of you guys might have been distracted for a little bit. Yep, the world card. Something you have literally closed out a chapter in your life. Five of Wands, you're getting back in the game again. Wheel of Fortune, finally, thank God. See how these cards are just speaking to you right now? They're saying, okay, once this is, yep. Death card, Five of Pentacles again. Five of Pentacles was, I, I must have put it away. Five of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. From the space of abandonment, being left out in the cold and not being able to, it's like your efforts were, they felt really futile. And from that, you got everything. Let me tell you, let me tell you the story behind this Nine of Cups card. Okay. Um, and I didn't explain this to you yet, but I popped a nail here, but I just really wanted to spend time with you guys versus getting my nails done because I felt like this reading was necessary. So what does the nine of cups card mean in this, in the tarot in general? It means wishes fulfilled, um, wishing on a star and that coming true. Right. But in this deck, and this is tarot of the divine, I think, I'm not sure, but pretty sure. Um, in this deck, it represents the polar opposites, the extremes between these two people and the lengths that someone will go for love. And basically, there's this princess or queen or whoever, and she's looking for a prince or a king or whatever, and she's looking for that love because she needs to rule her kingdom. Well, there's this female, this girl, this lady, who looks at her and says, that's the love of my life. And... She then says, well, she's straight and she's not going to look at me. She's not even going to choose me because I'm not a male. So she disguises herself as a male in order to trick her, I guess, you know, I guess help her to fall in love with who she is on the inside. And then they fall in love together. And she, she literally is like, yo, you are what it is that I've been looking for this entire time. I just was probably looking at the wrong thing. And that's what it is I'm saying, you guys. Um, essentially, what this is saying is that for the right love, you will recognize your love and you will go the distance to make it happen. Five of Wands says, I will fight for it. And the world card is showing me that, and the death card is showing me, and the Wheel of Fortune card is showing me that something had to really end here in order for you to connect and find like the real true love of your life or to bring out that level of commitment and self-sacrifice. And it can't just be you diving down. At some point, you have to leave them in the cold so that you can resurface. Because if not, they will continue to wonder why they keep getting drunk and stumbling to the ocean. And somehow someone just leaves them a meal and a you know, tucks them in at night. They don't know who it is. And their, their toxic ass behavior continues and continues and continues. Knight of Wands, this is going to be repetitive energy until 
you decide, you know what? While I dove down that one time, I saw something glittering and I decided to end this. And when I did that, Wheel of Fortune number 10, a new chapter in my life began when I let this one go. And this thing, it doesn't even have to be someone from the past or reconciliation. It could just be you finding and connecting with the people who are going to be right underneath your nose that will go the greatest lengths and the distance for you. And literally, I genuinely feel that when something is ending or when you decide I'm not doing this anymore or I'm disconnecting this or I'm letting it go, you pull back the curtain and the person, the love of your life is right behind that curtain saying, I know you were scared to do this. I know that this felt awful, but I will actually give to you everything. And I've been trying to show you all along. I'm the one that you've been looking for. I will do what it takes. I will go the distance. I will find my way. I can go the distance. Like, that's another song from Hercules. Yep. Knight of Pentacles. And they're stable. And that's another one of my animal totems. Yeah, Five of Swords, Knight of Cups. It's like this, this spirit really wants you to be aware of, and these cards want to jump out. Yeah, Six of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. So you, you, you're you really being called to be a little selfish here. And this card too, Six of Pentacles, is about the woman who's nice to bugs. So they all come back. She could squash them. She could kill them just like uh, people do when they see a bug. But they all come back and give to her because she's always looking out for them. And that's exactly what's going to happen. But for right now, my loves, I think that you... Franklin! Come here, Bubba. Come on. He's like, no. <laughs> I love his face. He literally, Franklin looks like this fox sometimes. He just looks at me and stares at me like... Did you say something? Because I'm not listening. Like, Franklin has a mind of his own. But I just think that for for a little bit, you guys, I just... Je Franklin! Come! You want a snacky? Do you want a snacky? He's like, I sure do. <laughs> you want some eggies? <laughs> if you guys don't know, Franklin... Yeah, now he comes. Oh, did you say eggies? Did you say eggies? <laughs> Do you want eggies, honey? The only thing I have right now is watermelon. Hold on, guys. I have to give him a, a little piece. Give me a bubba. Say bye. <laughs> so cute. Oh, oh, my God, you guys. Speaking of which, watermelon. Maybe that needed to happen. Wow. And I'm, I'm telling you, watermelon right here. Wow. Anyways, literally, this is you taking care of yourself and you treating yourself and just really recognizing how far you've come and you deciding, you know, I'm just not, look at this, this bird comes up to his watermelon, this bird, this falcon comes up to this guy on his horse. And it's, this is you deciding, like, I just, I just really know and want that I deserve so much more. I never noticed these boats in the background until now. There are things coming in for you for sure. But I just think that you're going to find and want someone who flies the distance, goes the distance, communicates, talks to you, doesn't leave you wondering, doesn't keep everything locked up, doesn't take you for granted or take advantage of you. That's real love. And honestly, you guys, look into the story um, if you can. I'll see if I can find it. It is, I probably didn't tell it right or as beautiful as it actually is, but it's people going the distance to find the love of their life because they know they have a sense like I cannot lose you I cannot lose this hold out for that that does exist right Franklin's enjoying his little piece of watermelon he's so cute all right now let's look into your oracle forgiving and learning engagement so yes oh my god you guys oh I couldn't make this up as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Exactly. So a lot of you guys have been really wanting and knowing that you deserve more from your relationships or just things that is that you want. You're not asking for too much, but you might be asking too much from the wrong person or you might be asking the wrong person for what is that you want. And some of you guys are just like, I, I'm not amused. <laughs> I can't stay here anymore. I'm not even interested in being, and it's not that I don't love you. I just don't, I don't love this you know, and it's this energy of releasing it and letting go literally helps you to heal it and move forward so that you can experience more love, period. 
not in, okay, I'm going to promise this to you in years to come, or I'm going to give this to you next month. Or I'm No, you literally told them you've waited, you've given them multiple chances. And now it's like, you, you keep telling me, but I need to see it. I need to see the evidence. Where do your words showing, like, not just what are your words showing me, but your actions. You can tell me and make promises all you want. You can say that you're going to do better, but if you're not, and you're not making active steps, the reality is that you, you haven't, you aren't, and I can't believe that you will. Things are about to get really juicy. You might not know now, but you will. Yes, don't be misled. And you, those you love, love you. I will say this, that love is a lot, but sometimes it's not enough. And if you, again, like don't be misled and you might not know now, but you will. And things are about to get really juicy. Let someone jump through those hurdles and those hoops of fire in order to get to you. Some of you guys might have blocked someone and just kind of canceled them out. Just be like, you know what? Uh, you're cute and all, but this is not cute. This situation is not cute. I deserve more. You keep saying that you're going to say something. You keep making promises. And the, the truth is like, I keep waiting. I keep reaching out to you. And the further, the more I reach out to you, the further you get, the distance just gets greater and greater. And I just can't anymore. It's not fair for me. And the thing is, I don't even think that you guys are expecting this person to show up for you. Like you, you really do feel burnt in the situation. You, but, and I don't think that you should expect anything. I just think that it, your person will jump through the hoops. Things things are about to get really juicy. This means that something is right on the horizon. Especially if you might not see it now, but it's right there. I'm generally sensing that. And don't be misled, meaning like, don't be misled by the word. Look at this. Oh my God, you guys. Someone from the past might be coming through. Excuse me. Or you might say to yourself, you know what, this is an unfinished symphony, but I'm ending the song now because I'm now going to take care of myself. I'm entering the land of milk and honey. This is where all of all the sweetness and the nourishment and the nine of nine of pentacles, the nine of cups of my life is what I've manifested. And if I keep diving down, I, I get stuck in this unfinished symphony situation. It just keeps replaying the same.